now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Came across a helpful article here about making the most out of sweaty sex this summer. Sweaty sex. That's when you know you're really doing it. Things are getting slippery. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and they also say that, uh, well, you're more likely to have a summer fling because you're not wearing as uh, much clothing and you're just happier during the summer. So things are going to happen and you're going to be sweating. So I've got some some tips here. <laughs> That's what they they literally said that? Pretty much. Man, they be writing the dumbest shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, no shit. Like, er everybody, anybody lives where it's cold out, like, the first hot day. It's just awesome. Because you see girls, like, all the girls just start wearing, just, you just see leg. Oh, yeah. Just ass and leg and titties. It's just like, whew. Definitely New York. It's always kind of like that around Michigan there. was like that shit, too. Yeah. And it and it, it would be like, it get to 50 and, like, you just start seeing skin like cats would be happy like yeah fucking sunny out with just 50 and sunny <laughs> the cannabis cup there was a guy just it was just ass everywhere oh, sure. ass 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 <laughs> fucking just ass they were all booed up though wasn't a lot of single chicks like fucking chilling at the cannabis cup booed up yeah never heard that like we should say that for we could probably use that still. You'll forget it for <laughs> slang versus John. So, so what? Very quickly, uh, yeah. the obvious one here: use the air conditioning. Nah, man, that shit gets. I don't like fucking with the air conditioning on. Why not? Because I did it. That the one time I did it, I I was fucking this Korean whore. In a real grimy spot off of Kawanga, and I got a head cold. Oh. Which is almost worse than gonorrhea. Because you like getting a getting a head cold from a whore. She, she, she was a hooker hooker. And yeah, I thought it was just a rub and tug place, and she just kept poking my back. Like, she was like, get, she was frustrated and poking my back. Like, can will you just fuck me and leave like that's what she was basically that that was the vibe i got and i was laying under this fucking box air conditioner just blowing whatever fucking dirt dust shit on me it was it was bleak that was i, I want to say it was like oh 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 three maybe yeah but that sweat that sex wasn't sweaty the air conditioning was. I, yeah, I don't. I like sweaty sex. I like to fucking. I that, I used to love that shit in Michigan. Like just fuck, you sweat your ass off, and then you go get a fucking cold ass towel, wet cold towel, wipe 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 them down. Really, I mean, you'd want feel her like just, you really do some shit. You 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 would mind if she was just drenched in sweat. It just depends. Yeah. It just depends. It, it all depends. It's like the like. To be real with you, like, do I got another girl coming over this week? And I got a fucking now I'm gonna have to do a whole like load of laundry, or there's like one's one's a squirter, and I'm like, God damn, sex ain't even that good, and then she's just gonna ruin the fucking bed. Oh, with that in mind, one of the lists here is consider having waterproof sheeting. The hell is that? Oh, I remember I was fucking this Chinese broad that was uh, damn all these Asian broads. Uh, she uh, she was like, it was like when CrossFit like first dropped, and she was like, bro, she was she was sweaty as hell and CrossFit and like so she was like muscly and sweaty and with fucking funky ass breath, and I was just like, please come, and she just she just ruined my bed. So I don't always like sweaty sex. When I like the pheromones are going. What is this? What's that right there? Extreme sheets. Those are waterproof sheets. You can bet for like 130 bucks, but it's That's even weird, man. That's for people like pee the bed. Yeah. I just go. I just. I'd rather just wash. 
I just would rather just wash that shit. It's being promoted with the guy having sex on the bed right there. You're, yeah, but that's for bedwetters. <laughs> like anybody's got a girl that squirts a bunch, just get a towel. Or just, yeah. Well, that's another thing on here. Be prepared. Keep towels and a water bottle by your bed to hydrate. Yeah, you always, yeah, you should always. Now I think about it, I used to be real grimy. I'd, like, the, it, it'd be levels. The first, the first, the first girl I'd fuck on the, on the comforter. And then the next girl I'd fuck on the top sheet. And then the third girl I'd fuck on the bottom sheet. <laughs> And then I wash everything. Huh. So there you go. But yeah. And they're talking about uh, timing it. Skip mid mid afternoon sex and do this at night or early morning when it's the coolest. Yeah, do it in the evening. Have shower sex. Open a window. Which, which, Ugh, you, which you don't like. Sour. It take it washes all the pussy juice away. You don't mind. You don't, the girls don't juice up for you anyway, John. <laughs> like, what is this weird feeling? I'm all about the shower sex. I know, because you can't tell the difference. <laughs> it's the funniest thing happened the other day. I was having sex with this woman. It's really slippery down there. Is that? Never happened to you. Does she have anything? Is that, is that a venereal disease? <laughs> oh, nah, she's way. turned on, bro. Really? So they're saying here, choose positions that puts the less sweaty person on top, like cowgirl or froggy. What the hell is yep. froggy sex? Or like, uh, yeah. Like, I always feel bad because I like, I like to have girls ride me, and like they be working up a sweat, and I'll be down there chilling like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, then I'll be like, just calm down, calm down. Like I'm doing them a favor. Froggy sex, what is that? I think I think it's where you land. It's like doggy style, but where. X videos is, is telling Let's me. Let's see. They're telling me this is froggy sex. Frog, play it for me. Oh, I gotta look at her on the fucking couch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I thought they were just gonna do that one shot. Oh, hey. I thought froggy sex was like is. It, I thought froggy sex was where it's like doggy style, but they're land, but they land on a belly. Okay, that that would make sense because I did. I found some strange. Uh, I like doing that shit. That shit it hits a it hits a special spot. Well, they're calling it here the the dorsal straddle. So I think you're right. So yeah, yeah, you can get, you, can get, you can hit some new spots. Okay, there's all different types of spots all over the pussy. So that right there is froggy sex, as far as you're concerned, right? So the lady's just laying there, and the guy's the, yeah. The, it's it's basically yeah. The guy's on top. He's got he's he's straddling her legs, and then he's pushing his dick in, and then so you can and and so you could you could stay you could stay sitting up on that shit, or you see how my man's laying on top of her and just digging in. Sure enough, it's not my favorite thing to watch. <laughs> <laughs> It's all fucking all. All it is is this dude's fucking asshole and nutsack. Like he's, I can't even see the girl. I fucking hate that position. That like, whoever came up with that that fucking shot and porn, man, who likes that shit? It's Whenever like, you Google it too, it's just a bunch of nut shots and yeah. buttholes. Yeah, it's just fuck. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all it fucking is. Like, who the fuck wants to see that? That's like low key gay. Hey, if you're if you're a low key homosexual dude, just look up froggy sex because it's just nuts. It's just nut sacks and buttholes. There must be some froggy fans out there, though. Yeah, your wife will never know. Yeah. <laughs> your wife will never know. No, I just really I want to try this froggy sex with you, babe. Froggy sex, I like that shit. This shit is fun. But you don't use that term. Hey, like, I don't do froggy. I'm just like, get on your belly. Right. I'm just like, get on your belly. Let me fucking do it like this for a while. Let's try out the frog. Mm -hmm. Looks like, uh, well, can you guess the most stressed out city here in America? The most stressed out city in America? Yeah. Probably New York. According to a recent survey, we here in Los Angeles, the most stressed out citizens in the U.S. 
and they questioned about 3,000 people from L.A., New York, Dallas, a bunch of places. And uh, uh, Oh, yeah, you know why, too? Because our bars close earlier and shit. Like, New Yorkers can at least, they can drink all night and hop in a cab. Like, we can't, we don't even have the luxury of doing that. Like, our bars close at 2. You got to drive every fucking where. But so it looks- Smoking's frowned upon. Like all, like all the stress relievers, and then like half the people out here want to be fucking actors. Lots you're all, you're always going on auditions, like worrying if you're getting a job or not. Oh, and most of the time you're rejected. Oh fuck yeah, constant rejection. I was awful at. It. That's why I wrote that. That's why I wrote my book. I was like, man, I, I'm tired of like not getting auditions. I'm just gonna write a book, and maybe I can turn that shit into something because I'm tired of not I'm tired of being rejected Sh- Sh- uh, New York is 72% Chicago 65 Miami Miami's traffic is a motherfucker Dallas 48 and then San Francisco drops all the way down to 44% uh-huh. they're rich as fuck up there bro Yeah, it's a whole nother like that tech that tech boom shit is fucking why am I hearing this what's that fucking noise I don't hear it maybe it's just me it's in your head I guess so <laughs> got it checked out yo yeah all they do all the, all, all I ever see the motherfucking rich people do is just wait in line to eat like fucking artisanal sandwiches because they got like a billion dollars and they could have anything they want. So then people are like, you can have this artisanal sandwich, but you're going to have to wait in line, billionaire. And, then, and they do that. Now, I do have the most stressful places here in L.A. You can Most stressful places? I would probably say the hood. Well, so, that's, that's <laughs> I would say... And any hood L.A., it would be a very stressful place to live. I I sure wouldn't want to live there. It's a bit tense. Yeah. But they do say the Hollywood and Highland Center, just that tourist trap place. That that place is the worst of everything. Because not only do you have the tourists come there, you got the homeless come there, you got the dope fiends come there, and you'll even have the hood come there and fucking get in fist fights like it's just the worst of everything i was walking through there a couple weeks ago because i live around there and some guy was just walking in the street jerking off just jerking off yeah man i've I've seen some wild shit out there before i remember yo it was a i saw this one dude man like it was like a manslaughter like he knocked that he knocked my man out because you know where they when they get knocked out and their hands are still moving and shit they like turn into robots and they're on the ground <laughs> and it was like some cholos and they just started kicking my man in the head and i'm like yo that's like a fuck in the middle of hollywood boulevard i was like that's a manslaughter charge that's and it was like some fucking hype beast Asian. I was like, fuck, man, it's not going good for him. I don't know what he did, but I probably shouldn't have done it. Other places to avoid. Universal Studios, the Chinese Theater, Rodeo Drive, and any casting agency. Lots of, lots of stress there. Yeah. Yeah. I've had some bad times at casting agencies. When was the last time you went on an audition, though? I haven't been on in a minute. It, when I first, before I got the job here, I, got, I there, there was a couple. I was, I, I was banned from a few of them because I kept it too real. <laughs> <laughs> I kept that shit too real. You were banned. Yeah. No more auditions for Jude. None. And I think one time I was fucking with one of them, one of the chicks from one of those like you want to be a model shows, you know what I mean? Like I forget it was, it was like Project Runway, but it was like for the modeling chicks. Right. And she was like she was a model, but she was hood as fuck. And I I needed a ride, so she took me, and she wouldn't wait in the car, so she was being loud as fuck in the in the goddamn waiting room. I'm like who's she with him? And then yeah, I got fucking cussed out. 
black vault over that. Yeah. Ashley Madison, that uh, cheating website. Her you... pussy wasn't even that good. What's... Go ahead. <laughs> no. Ashley Madison, that cheating website, supposedly, if you yeah, go there, yeah. you can find your discreet connection. It's all dudes. Yeah. It's literally, it's, the, it's like, it's like, it's fucking 80, 20 dudes to fucking chicks. And then what, like prostitutes or sex workers or something? I, don't know, I think, I think half them shits are fake. I'm like, I think half the women are just fake on there. Well, according to this, 20,000 new sign uh happen daily. 20,000 people are signing up daily. 20,000 men. Yeah. 20,000 men. But for these these lonely men, they are offering up some coaches, dating coaches, to help them actually navigate your first cheating scenario. They don't really give any tips as to how to do that. I was going to say, yeah, how does, what do just you do? Just talk to her. Yeah. I don't know. But I guess these guys are just so squirrely that uh, they're offering up uh, dating coaches now. Ashley Madison is? Mm -hmm. Why don't they get some fucking women on there? See, the thing is, is women don't have to do that. They don't have to hop online and put themselves out there to go cheat. Just go to a bar. Egg fucking exactly. End of story. Yeah. Exactly. They end up fucking one of their coworkers. It's always a goddamn coworker. If my wife ever had a work husband, she would never have a work husband. I'm like, we, he, a what? <laughs> Don't you ever go out to fucking lunch with his ass? Wow. Well, l lunches are off limits, really. Yo, if I had, my, if my wife had some dude that she went out to lunch with every fucking day. Oh well, that's different. That's that's, that's how they be doing that shit. They're like, oh, that's my work husband. Like, nah, motherfucker, you got one husband. You got one husband. That's Chad in accounting, and don't talk to him that much because he's trying to fuck you. You ain't gonna be at fucking Applebee's venting, venting about my ass to goddamn Chad. Six months later, it's Dixon. You fuck that shit. No way, dude. I've seen that shit. So Song as old as time, dog. So what they're saying is some of these coaches may not be professionally trained therapists. You still are harping on this so, shit, man, <laughs> dog. It's not, yo, the, the, girls don't even go on Ashley Madison. I've never ever met one person on Ashley Madison. I met a gang of women that have been on seeking arrangements. Okay, sure. So there you go. Shit, if I was a if I was a woman that wanted to cheat, I'd go. Go on seeking arrangements. Because then you, you can get caked up and get some dick on the side. Hmm. Ladies, there you go. Bam. If you're going to be a, if you're gonna be a cheat, cheater, you might as well be a cheating whore. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Pay for it. Is that good news you're about to play me? I could do that. All right, play me some fucking good news. And now, time for good news. There's this nonverbal four-year-old with autism, and he found his voice through that song, uh, Old Town Road, Lil Nas X, and Billy Ray Cyrus. Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, so his All name right. is Daniel. And I've got the mother here, uh, Shaletta Brundage. So she's just talking about how suddenly he liked the song so much he started singing. So, no shit. Let's hear it for right. a second. Fuck you. Country music and rap saving saving the world. And all of a sudden, Damien, he starts singing those words. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town. And I was like, oh my God, my child is singing something that we didn't teach him. He was able to listen to the song and store it in his mind and then recall it. That's a big deal because that means that he can learn through music. All right, yeah. Is he going to sing or yeah, I just have to hear her, her talking? <laughs> He's running the background. All right, go ahead and play that shit for me. 1.4 million views. Small steps. There it is. Yo, if you think about it, like... Cats don't really like to claim this shit, but like black people and rednecks got more in common than they like to they like to admit. 
I'm sure you can argue that. Both, both, both love Chevys. <laughs> <laughs> they motherfuckers love Chevys. Cats love Chevys. They do the line dancing and shit. Picky about their barbecue. Next. You know. Eat Miracle Whip. <laughs> Just throwing it out there, man. These are generalizations, but you know, you, you know, just saying. Doesn't mean it's not true. All right. A rest in peace goes out to one of the legends of rap. We talked about it earlier on the show, um, but it bears repeating. Rest in peace to Bushwick Bill. Passed from cancer. I was lucky enough to meet him once. He was one of our first interviews. Just cool, down to earth, real ass motherfucker. And he was part of one of the OG gangster rap and southern groups that really, and part part of a black owned fucking uh the group was on a black owned rap label. So like just a lot of firsts. He he was connected to a lot of firsts and uh, our thoughts. And uh, love go go to his family and his friends and everybody who who he's touched. Rest in peace to Bushwick.